I posted a video on Monday about why I, I was confused and concerned that Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans didn't seem so fussed about losing the election. And then Rachel Maddow posted a story herself that night about this elector's scheme in the legislatures and how she had also kind of worked out that the reason is because they have a plan in place to rig the election. And fortunately, on Tuesday... Rolling Stone run an article about exactly the same story. And, you know, it's very interesting that this is massive, potentially, the, the idea that Trump, yet again, after trying to rig the 2020 election and losing in court and, and claiming he was the president when the votes hadn't been counted and, and still claiming that he should have won or that he did win and that Joe Biden's an illegitimate president, all that stuff. It is surprising to me that this is not on the front pages of every single newspaper. And why is it not all that everybody is talking about? Because this is a scheme to rig the 2024 election to rig it, to claim that these electors in these legislatures will not certify the election because they don't think that it's fair or they'll claim fraud or whatever their excuse is, and so they'll send it to the Supreme Court, which is now a MAGA Republican, far-right Christian nationalist Supreme Court, and as with the immunity case, they will side in favor of Donald Trump. Now, don't think this hasn't happened before, because on November 26, 2000, three weeks after the election between George W. Bush and Al Gore, it was the Supreme Court that decided the winner. This was after a, a wild election night on November 7. TV networks first called the key state of Florida for Al Gore and then for Bush, followed by a concession by Gore that was soon rescinded. And the results for who would be the nation's 43rd president were simply too close to call. And so in the 36 days that followed, Americans learned Gore had won the popular vote by 543,000 votes. But it's winning the Electoral College that counts, a system that is designed to favor Republicans. The popular vote is almost always won by Democrats. The popular vote is the vote of the people. But the Electoral College is the rigged system designed to put in a Republican president. And you really do need a landslide in order to beat the Electoral College system. And so in the year 2000, Florida, because it couldn't make up its mind, the decision resulted in one of the most controversial Supreme Court decisions in American history. And with the Florida win, Bush led Gore in electoral votes nationally, 271 to 266. And out of legal options, Al Gore conceded. Now, that is an example of how history can repeat itself, and that is what Republicans are relying on this time, because they know they have the Supreme Court in the tank for Donald Trump, because we have Supreme Court justices bought and paid for, we have far-right Christian nationalist justices, and we have those three Trump-appointed justices that owe Donald Trump a debt of gratitude. And so that is what they're relying on. That is what they are hoping for. And that is why the election in November requires a huge landslide win on behalf of Kamala Harris. I just want to paraphrase some of the Rolling Stone article, which talks about 70 pro-Trump conspiracists working as election officials in key battleground counties. And they are poised to make a giant mess on election day. They say that when election night comes in November... It'll be up to thousands of local election officials to certify election results in their county. Among those election officials are scores of Donald Trump supporters who believe his lies and conspiracies about stolen elections. And they will be in prime position to act on those beliefs to try and aid his campaign. In the swing states of Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina and Pennsylvania, Rolling Stone and American Doom identified at least 70 pro-Trump election conspiracists and they will question the validity of the election as they did in 2020. At least 22 of these county election officials have refused or delayed certification in recent years. Now, certification of election results is what legal experts consider a ministerial task and one required by state and local law. But as Trump's lies about the 2020 election have taken hold, Republicans nationwide have decided that certification provides them an opportunity 
to hear fraud allegations and refuse to officially count their local votes. Republicans have refused to certify election results at least 25 times since Donald Trump lost the 2020 election to President Joe Biden. And while refusals and delays of certification have not held up in court in Georgia and Arizona, pro-Trump local election officials are seeking to make certification discretionary. Lawsuits that are currently being decided by state judges in order to give his campaign another method to challenge election results in November. This is a fraud on the American public. We will win this, and we, as far as I'm concerned, we already have won it. This is what's happening. This is what we have to look forward to. This is what we have to be prepared for. And I'm hoping that Merrick Garland, the U.S. Attorney General, is aware of this scheme because this is a coup. It is designed to overturn the government, overturn the election, overturn the fair system of voting and to install Donald Trump as president despite him losing. Now, that is why Trump says, we don't need your votes. We've got plenty of votes. That is why Donald Trump says, if you vote for me, you'll never have to vote again. We're going to fix it. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years. You know what? It'll be fixed. It'll be fine. All of this stuff doesn't make any sense in isolation. But when you put it together, it is very clear that this is the plan they are talking about. This is the plan that Kevin Roberts of the Heritage Foundation has been saying. The Democrats don't know what's coming. We have a plan. Some of them in ways that the other side doesn't yet know are foundations for what's coming. And that's just the beginning. There is a plan in place to overturn the election and give the decision, the final decision to the Supreme Court, as was in the year 2000. But this time, the Supreme Court is a guarantee because people said, oh, the Supreme Court will do the right thing when it came to Roe versus Wade. And they overturned it. They did the same with Donald Trump's immunity and presidential immunity. They did the same with the Chevron case. You see, the United States can only remain a free nation and a, and a true democracy if you vote for the only party that represents freedom and democracy. And it seems in this two horse race that Kamala Harris and the Democrats are the only people advocating for true freedom. I'm Anthony Davis. You can catch me on the 5 Minute News YouTube channel and podcast on Wednesdays co-hosting Uncovered and on Sunday on The Weekend Show with Midas Touch. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.